Hi everybody, I'm Xavier from AeroCoach and in this video we're going to talk to you about tyres. We're going to explain the difference between the three different types of tyre that you can get and the benefits and drawbacks of each of those and also which ones are faster and which ones are going to slow you down. The first type of tyre system we're going to talk about is something that we're all going to be familiar with, which is a clincher and inner tube setup. So a clincher tyre is mounted on a hooked rim where you place an inner tube like this inside and your choice of tyre as well as your choice of inner tube is going to have an influence on the speed that you go out on the road. It's very important to make sure that both your tyre and inner tube combo is as fast as possible to help speed you up. We have some data on our website to show you about the difference between different rolling resistance tyres as well as the difference between rolling resistance of inner tubes. So if you head to the site you can have a look. But the take home message really is that a latex inner tube is going to be faster than a butyl inner tube or other plasticised type of inner tubes. The lighter the tube is doesn't necessarily affect the rolling resistance. It's more about the stiffness of the tube itself. So a stiffer butyl tube takes more energy to deform and reform compared with a more supple latex tube, even if the latex tube is heavier. In terms of the tyre itself, the carcass of the tyre and the way it's constructed and the amount of puncture protection layers that are in there will also affect the rolling resistance of the tyre and tube system. So if you have a very heavy duty touring tyre that's got very thick tread, then that's going to have a higher rolling resistance than a thinner, more lightweight racing tyre, which will require less power to travel at the same speed. The second type of tyre system are tubular tyres. Tubular tyres are an all-in-one system where there's an inner tube sewn into an outer tyre and it's glued onto the rim. This sort of system is used more for professional racing because it allows you to use a lighter rim and tyre setup and also on the track where you can pump it up to extremely high pressures because there's no risk of the tyre blowing off the rim. The method used to fix a tubular tyre to the rim is extremely important to help to lower your rolling resistance. Using glue is a faster method than using tubular tape because a glue gives a stronger bond between the tyre and the rim. The third type of tyre system is something that's been used in mountain bike for a number of years and that's a tubeless system. So tubeless is much like clincher in that you mount it on a hooked rim but instead of using an inner tube you put a valve on the rim and then you lock it with a nut to seal it and you put sealant inside. Now this system is quite useful for punctures because if you get a small puncture through your tread then the sealant will rush to that area because of the pressure in the tyre and it will solidify and seal it. Unlike an inner tube where if you get a puncture then it's game over and you'll need to replace it with a new tube. The burning question that everyone wants to know the answer to, however, is which one of these three systems is faster? Well, the big caveat is that it depends how you set it up. So, if we take a clincher tyre with a latex tube, such as a Vittoria Corsa Speed, versus the tubular version of the Vittoria Corsa Speed, and a tubeless setup of Vittoria Corsa Speed, then they are actually all the same rolling resistance, but only if you set them up correctly. So if you have a clincher tyre with a butyl tube, then that will make it slower than the other two. If you have a tubular tyre and you don't glue it on correctly, or you use tubular tape, that will make it slower as well. And for the tubeless setup, if you put 150 millilitres of sealant inside, that will also slow it down. 
So for the same tire, it's important to make sure that you make the correct choice for each different type of system. Once you've selected your preferred tyre system, the next thing you need to think about in order to speed yourself up out on the road is your tyre pressure. Now, modern tyres, with the construction techniques that they use and the materials used in the tyres, can allow for lower pressures than in previous years. We have on our website a handy little tyre pressure calculator where you can input the width of your tyre and also your rider weight and it will calculate a personal tyre pressure for you that will result in the lowest rolling resistance. It's very important to understand that when you're choosing the tire pressure for your tire, if you put in too much pressure, there is more of a penalty in terms of rolling resistance than if you put in too little pressure. So, if you're unsure as to what pressure to use, always err on the side of a little bit too less rather than a little bit too much. Obviously, if you have too little pressure, you may be at the risk of pinch punctures, but it's much, much better to err on the side of too less rather than too much. I hope you've enjoyed this video and for more data on rolling resistance of different tyres as well as the rolling resistance of different inner tubes then head to our website where we have all this information available. Thanks very much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this that will help speed you up whilst you're out riding.